right, so? Gave us a fake name again. Again. Not sure. Yeah. I just don't understand why he keeps doing this. You don't understand? Really? I feel like it's pretty obvious yeah. to just swallow things. <laughs> I don't spoil things. Name me one thing that I've actually spoiled. The last movie title. The last movie title. Spider-Man No Way Home. There's so many clues, so many Easter eggs. Only in movie theaters this Christmas. Only in movie theaters, so no streaming. Oh my gosh. So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And yes, it was revealed yesterday or two days ago. I know I'm late to the party. But it was already revealed as to the official title for the third Spider-Man installment, and when I mean the third, I mean in terms of the one starring Tom Holland. So we got our official subtitle, No Way Home. Now, considering the whiteboard that was on display when we saw actors Tom Holland, Zendaya, and Jacob Bat Batalon walking out of the director's room, John Watts' room, they pass by a whiteboard, and of course we see the title Spider-Man No Way Home, and around the title, there's all these notes. I, all I kept seeing was like, no way home, no way home, no way home written all over. Um, but a lot of people were looking into the drawings and of course the significance as to why it's titled No Way Home. And of course, as many of us are all speculating, it has to involve the multiverse. Uh, if you guys are watching WandaVision, I'm not going to spoil anything, but, but there are rumors. As to how the show might end, we don't know, but something's going to happen where the multiverse is all messed up now, and that's why WandaVision is going to be connected to the Spider-Man movie, as well as into Doctor Strange 2, into the multiverse of madness. There's rumors flowing around that the original Spider-Man, or uh, Spider-Man, uh, Tobey Maguire, as well as the second Spider-Man, um, Andrew Garfield are supposed to appear in this movie alongside Tom Holland, which is, since we're diving into the multiverse, will also mean the significance of the Spider-Verse. You have previous Spider-Man villains confirmed, such as Jamie Foxx as Electro coming back, Alfred Molina as um, Doc Ock coming back. There's even rumors that um, Willem Dafoe as Green Goblin might come back. And these are all villains from the previous Spider-Man films. So... Yeah, I mean, I hope this has to deal with the multiverse. It just has to. The subtitle, No Way Home. So, does that mean Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland, can't find his way home? Or that the other characters from different multiverses can't find their way home? We don't know. Obviously, whatever Scarlet Witch Wanda Maximoff does in the show WandaVision is going to have a ripple effect on this whole multiverse saga, um, and I can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh, I hope, I, I heard it was confirmed. I don't know for sure. Let me know down in the comments below, guys. But they're saying that it's confirmed, fingers crossed, that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield are set to appear in this. I don't know. And alongside with um, Emma Stone and Kirsten Dunst. I don't know if that's confirmed, but I think the rumors are just speculating, but I think we're getting closer and closer to it. Oh, this is so exciting. Now, the interesting thing is that it says only in theaters for the end of this year and Christmas. Considering with the situation right now with the pandemic, we'll see how things go. I mean, I am aware, I heard that movie theaters are slowly opening back up in New York. New York is a very big state and that's where a lot of box office, you know, they draw their money from there as well as here in California. Um, I mean, who's to say? Who knows how things are going to go? This pandemic is just crazy. I just, I mean, and plus of, you know, get things getting back to normal, it's not, you know, movie theaters, the Hollywood industry has to find a new, I mean, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you could have movie theaters, but it's just not going to be the same as it was before. So I feel like movie theaters and the Hollywood movie industry has to find a new method, so to say. And so, yeah, you can still keep your box office money going. You can keep movies and movie theaters going, but in a new, different format that's adaptive with the whole situation of the COVID-19. That's just what it is. That's just the reality that we're in right now. So, I mean, 
who knows if this movie will even come out in Christmas. Like I said, because of the pandemic, we're still waiting on Black Widow. It's supposed to come out in May. Who knows if that's going to get moved around again. Um, we're waiting on Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings, The Eternals, and of course Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness, Thor Love and Thunder, um, the sequels to Black Panther and Captain Marvel. So there's this whole shift around due to the pandemic. I mean, that's just what it is. So I hope things work out. We'll see. But let's see how WandaVision ends in the coming weeks. We got tomorrow's episode Friday and then next week's final episode. So we'll see what happens with the multiverse and how this affects the MCU moving forward. So I can't wait to see it. So let me know down in the comments below, guys. Um, this was just a teaser, so it's not much to go off of, but it's nice to know what the subtitle is to this and, of course, again, by what we saw on the whiteboard game speculation in, re in relation to the multiverse. So, again, let me know in the comments down below what are your theories, what do you think is going to happen across these movies with WandaVision, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and many more. Let me know, like, and subscribe, and as always, take care, guys. Bye!